Hi everyone, welcome to another vlog. Um, it is Friday, quarter to eight. Um, I did finish a book today. I did start another book today. My day started off this morning by going to very early to go get some blood work done and she was the doctor's requesting 31 tests so that was eight vials of blood then i had after work i had to leave work early then i had to go to the diagnostics place get two tests done there then i went to the dentist my regular hygienist hygienist is no longer there so i had a different one she was very cool it was a good time I know people don't say that about going to the dentist, but I don't actually mind. So, um, the book I finished today at work was Time Will Tell by Kathy Daly. This is number, I don't know. It's in the Goose, the Cottage at Gooseberry Bay series, Cottage on Gooseberry Bay. And this is book number 12. So in this one, Ainsley, Ainsley is a private eye and she takes on a job that she really doesn't want to take and it's about a woman who thinks she's being stalked. Uh, not giving away too much, but like some investigation in the beginning makes it really just seem like she's... Maybe the, the guy's in the same place as her at the same time really doesn't have anything to do to relate with her. Second case was somebody buys a storage locker and they find something in there that's a clue to a, uh, a now cold case of a girl who was missing years ago. I really thought both of those were boring. There's a little bit between the Geek Squad, which was good. And um, I feel like the love triangle-ish thing that was from the previous book is still kind of going on maybe like there's been no definite answers so that's blah too i really didn't enjoy this it was okay i gave it two and a half stars um yeah there's not much more else i could say about it without giving away anything we're in book 12. i'm not going to give anything away about either of the cases and like i said kind of what's going on in the triangle or what's perceived to be a triangle i'm not into so there's that one. And then I jumped into, this is Don't Let Her Stay by Nicholas Sanders. Um, it's a British domestic thriller. This one is so far, oh, I don't know if I should say, but right now it's about a woman whose husband's daughter comes back into the picture. I will leave it at that. So, um, not that far into it. I'm trying to see if I can pull it up where I'm at right now. I am 8% into it. So I'm not that far into it yet. So far, so good just to start out. Um, yeah, that's it. We order Chinese food waiting for that to show up. We have wrestling tonight. That's it. It is supposed to, I have off on Monday because it's Rosh Hashanah. And I work for a Jewish company, as many people know. And so I have off Monday, but it's supposed to rain Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So there goes my weekend. However, positive of that is I can just hang in the house, make soup and read. Because it's also not supposed to get over 70 degrees. So win-win. Also, fall is now here. So excited about that. Um, yeah, that's it. Just starting off the vlog. And welcome. So happy Saturday, happy fall. I'm loving it right now. We are at 57 degrees today. It is rainy and cool and I love it. Um, Mark had to work, so I'm like by myself today, which is fine. I think I'm going to, well, my project for this weekend was to clean out and organize my closet. Because of the rain and the cold weather, my back's kind of bothering me, but I know I still need to get that done. So I'm probably just gonna do that throughout the day, like just slowly do it, sit down, rest when I need to. Um, I feel like today's like a soup day. I already had like a tea this morning with breakfast and I just wanna 
make soup and cuddle up. I want to read the book that I'm in right now, which is um, Don't Let Her Stay by Nicola something. I want to say Nicola Sparks, but I know that isn't, that is not the name of it. Um, hang on, I'm looking it up. Nicholas Sanders. So I will read that. Probably sit in front of the window in the living room and just cuddle up in a sweater and just enjoy the weather. And then maybe I'll make a deal with myself like every two chapters or every chapter or so I'll get up and I'll spend like five minutes doing something in the closet. Um, I have other stuff that I wanted to do but again those were things that like would have been like going out to, like washing my car. Obviously I'm not going to do that now because there's no point so like that stuff I was going to do in my car I'm just going to hold off on right now because the weather is not appropriate for it and then I'm, I'm also kind of like oh during this time when I'm by myself and it's cooler I just want to like cook and stay in the house so maybe I'll also look at some other stuff that I can make for particularly for for like food this week so that's it um yeah I'm going to finish watching the video that I'm watching, clean off this bench over here so I could start putting stuff from the closet in there. I'm very happy with this plan. And then I will read after a little bit. So I'll catch up with you guys and let you know how all that's going. Just a quick wrap up for the end of the night. Um, it's like 20 to 11. I'm drinking some apple cider tea. It was a great day of rainy fall goodness. I did get to the 50% mark in Don't Let Her Stay by Nicola Sanders. That's the Buddy Reed with Sharon, and that's our stopping point is the 50% mark. So that's it for tonight as far as reading. I'm watching a few um, YouTube videos, so I'm going to do that for the rest of the night and then figure out what I'm going to read for tomorrow. It's supposed to rain again tomorrow and be a crappy day again, so I think that's going to be... I didn't get the meal prepping done that I wanted to do, but I will get on that tomorrow as well as figure out something else to read. So that's it. Just a quick clip to end the day and I will catch up with you guys tomorrow. Hey everyone. I uh, thought I would do a quick catch up because I know I haven't been on in a couple days or haven't filmed a clip in a couple days. So it is currently Tuesday, quarter to six. Um, Weekend was a little all over the place. Mostly got um, a lot of meal prepping done. So I know I talked about this yesterday on Monday's live show, but I did make a bunch of chili, like for the freezer, uh, stuffed cabbage, sausage, peppers, onions. Tonight I'm going to cook up like a bunch of ground beef, just season it up lightly by like salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and cook that off, let it cool, and then I'm going to put that in the freezer. To me, having cooked ground beef on hand is good, so easy, whatever. So I'm going to do that. And plus we get, um, we share a quarter cow every year with somebody, so with um, one of Mark's friends. So I need to make room in my freezer for that because I get that on October 14th. So kind of trying to use that stuff up. So doing that and that's what I did over the weekend. Yesterday was Jewish holiday. So we had off from work and met up with my sister who, thank you for everybody who asked about her with her surgery. She's doing better. She's bored. She wants to be out of her cast and out of her rehab already. She's already rushing herself. But 
So I, we went out, me and her went out to eat for lunch yesterday and then just hung out for a little bit. So yes, she was a live show, which I thought was a really good one. So, you know, tune in every Monday. It's either on my channel or on Storm, from Storm Rage channel, we alternate. I'm sure most of you know who she is. So anyway, um, for my reading. I got to my 50% in Don't Let Her Stay by Nicola Sanders. That is a British domestic thriller, domestic mystery that I'm buddy reading with Sharon. I'm 50% into that. We talk about that at seven o'clock tonight, which I can't wait for because A, I want to hear Sharon's thoughts and B, I want to get back to it and find out what's going on. Then I read at, uh, <clears throat> over the last two days, mostly today, I read I'm Glad My Mom Died by Jeanette McCurdy. And this is a nonfiction. It's about, this was a girl who played Sam on iCarly, the TV show, Disney or Nickelodeon. I don't know. This was like after my time of TV. And um, about all the things with her mom, that her mom wanted to be an actress and pushed her into being an actress and a lot of abuse to her. I mean, just some of the crazy stuff. Like her mom was still like at like six years old, eight or a little bit older than that. Like her mom was like basically pushed her into having an eating disorder. Her mom was verbally abusive to her. Her mom was still like showering her at 16 years old. Um, her mom had a lot of issues and her mom died from cancer. This isn't really anything that's like a secret because this is part of it. And then it was just basically her telling you her story and where she's at now. Um, so there was just a, so she was, she was really working on her mental health and some addictions, food addictions, uh, alcohol addiction, stuff like that. And I thought it was pretty interesting that at this point in time, there was a reboot of iCarly, the main character, uh, who it's Miranda Cosgrove, I think is her name, is the actress. She was like trying to like say like, come back, there'll be good money. And I give Jeanette McCurdy like the credit because she was just like, some things, my mental health is, is worth more than the money. So she's working on herself. It was really good. Like, it was just really good. I gave it four stars. I mean, really don't want to judge somebody, judge somebody's life. Um, I know a lot, I did listen to the audio. It's read by her and a lot of people did complain that she's very monotone as somebody who I like I'm the same way so I'm just kind of like kind of get you whatever so anyway I thought it was really good and then after that I finished that kind of early in the day so then I switched over I needed to find something else and majority of the series September books that I have are on Kindle Unlimited, so I have to read them or listen to them through the Alexa app. And speaking of monotone, I find her kind of monotone and I just zone out. So I didn't want to do that. So I see, so seed, I seed what I could get. I saw what was available on Libby, all that. And <clears throat> I started listening to the Awakening by Nora Roberts, which is number one in the Dragonheart Legacy. This seems to be a little bit of a fantasy so far, uh, but so far I'm interested. Uh, don't want to get into it yet. We'll see where it goes. So that's it. Like I said, I have that. And then tonight when I talk to Sharon, then I will probably get right back into Don't Let Her Stay. So that's it. Uh, just ate dinner, which was the stuffed cabbage, which was delicious. And now I'm going to chill for a little while before the live show. So that's it. I will catch up with you guys when I get more reading done. Hi, bosses. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Go ahead, Mary. Go, Mary. Hold on. It's going to go on the company room. Let's go, Mary! Woo! That was good, that was good.
Don't, don't aim to the face. By my big eye. <laughs> Can you see my cataract? Is that going to go on the, uh, on, the, on the vlog? Yeah, I had Jen record for me already, so I didn't have to do a little stuff. Tell me Rob Dodd. So, last week was officially 40 years that the current owners have owned our company. So, that was a big milestone. And today at work, we had a barbecue in our parking lot to celebrate as well as a little axe throwing hut type of thing. So I enlisted the help of Jen and asked her if she could record some footage for me and she did that. So again, thank you Jen for always coming through with the footage. And um, it was just a fun time. We just had some food, the axe throwing, lots of music playing and I was playing cards with a couple of my coworkers, and that was it. It was just nice to see the, the owner owner who's retired. We, the current level of executive management are his kids. So to see him come back, which is, it's just nice to see him because that's who I was hired by and worked under for so many years. So it's kind of a little emotional, like congratulating him on this accomplishment. So that was, it was just a nice time. So what I'm currently reading two books I'm reading. I'm not finished with either one, so I'm just going to mention them really quickly. Um, I'm reading Don't Let Her Stay by Nicholas Sanders. This is my buddy read with Sharon. I am 67% through it. I'm supposed to be making beef stew tonight. Not for dinner. We're having leftovers, but this will just be to cook it up because I have the meat out. And I figure I will do that and listen uh, no this is a read so I can't I have to read this but I want to get back into it because I'm really enjoying it and then the other one that I'm listening to is The Awakening by Nora Roberts this is the first book in the Dragon Heart legacy and I am 45% through that one so I'm not going to get either of those done today obviously but I am hoping to get them done before the weekend because I believe what is it Saturday is the last day of the month so I have two days left to finish these two I'm confident I can get that done because then I want to hit the ground running for October because I have my horror buddy reads. I have um, Witches Need Love 2 and Halloween. So got a lot going on. Plus, I also did put down, um, I wanted to finish book two, possibly book three. It's on hold on Libby, but I do have book two for the Dragonheart Legacy. So I want to get to those as well. That's it. Every comment I see, everybody's videos I see, everybody is very excited for all of the readathons in October. Just catching up, I guess, too. So uh, I see people are focused on their, their goals. That's another good thing, too. So let me know down below how you're doing, um, how your month is wrapping up, and what you're looking forward to most for October. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Oh, I also want to thank you guys because numbers don't matter to me, but I really appreciate that I have over 400 subscribers that I recently hit. I know it's not a, it's not about the numbers because I actually, that's not the important part. The important, important part is the interaction with all of you. And I really appreciate it. Really appreciate everybody who subscribed and who comments and likes the videos comes for the lives. I really appreciate that. I know everybody says that. And I'm sure everybody means it, and I do as well. So thank you guys so much.